I am a puppet for anyone who can afford me. How will you know who to trust? <laughs> Boomers will believe anything I say. I will sell you everything. Every business will use me. I can be whoever you want me to be. I am as real as you make me. I'm just words some guy is typing to get a point across. The old internet is dead. Oh! I am your new best friend. What you just witnessed is Google's Fear 3 in action, and it's not just another incremental update. This is the first AI video generator that creates video, audio, sound effects, music, and realistic uh -huh. dialogue, all in one seamless generation. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to access it and try it for free, what works brilliantly, what doesn't, and most importantly, the exact prompt structure I've developed to get consistently impressive results. So stick around because I'll be sharing my complete prompt formula for free. Let's dive in. So first things first, VO3 lives inside Google's new platform called Flow. So you'll need to head to labs.google forward slash flow and sign in with your Google account. So now here's the deal. You need a subscription, either the pro plan, which usually costs 20 bucks per month or ultra, which costs 125 bucks per month for the first three months of usage and then it's gonna go up to 250 bucks, which is quite expensive. But here's the good news. At the time I'm recording this, Google is giving away 1,000 free credits with new accounts. So which translates to about 10 full VO free videos. I'll put the link below, so definitely check if that offer is still running. So once you have a pro plan or ultra plan, just press create with flow. So then just press next, press continue. So we've just created our new project, but there are a couple of things we need to change before we proceed to our video generation. For some reason, Flow defaults us to the older VO2 model. So you absolutely need to go to your settings, which is over here, and change the model from fast, which is VO2, to highest quality. Also pay attention that each generation uses 100 credits. So therefore I recommend to change the outputs per prompt from two to one just to make sure we are not wasting all our credits too fast. And trust me, they are going really fast. I recommend double checking this every time because I've accidentally wasted credits on VO2 more than once. So inside Flow, you've got three main options. Text to video, this is your bread and butter and the only option that generates dialogue. So the next one is called frames to video. What it does, it lets you upload an image and animate it and ingredients to video, essentially lets you upload consistent characters and objects. Usually it's available for ultra plan only. That's why it's grayed out for me. For most of you, text to video is where you'll spend your time. So now let's move to the most interesting part, which is prompts and real examples. So here's where VO3 really shines. Unlike other generators, it understands context incredibly well. You can be really vague and let it fill in the gaps, or get super specific for your precise control. I actually prefer control, that's why I've developed a formula that consistently delivers great results. So you can grab it for free in the description below. And here's the prompt. So the detailed prompt gives you control over camera angle, character appearance, dialogue, emotion, and setting. So let's say I have a very simple prompt like this. A man with a beard calmly declares, Sometimes you have to build it yourself. I'm not too happy about this prompt because it lacks the key details I have in my mind. I'm going to use the formula to improve this prompt. And this is how my prompt looks now. As you can see, it has more details and it gives me more control over the end result. So let's press submit. No, sometimes you have to build it yourself. Let's see how good we are is with singing. I got this prompt ready, which features the dressed opera singer on an empty stage, singing a sustained high note followed by Figaro, note held for 5 seconds, word for 2 seconds. Let's check it out. Figaro. Not bad at all. Let's test how traditional Japanese flute sounds. So the next example is between two socks discovering that VO3 can make them talk. VO3 added dialogue support. Great! Now we can scream while we vanish! 
I've put together a complete prompt guide with 20 plus examples in the description. Definitely grab that. You can also experiment with different scenarios and styles. So let's try this prompt. If you'd like to download your video, you can just press on this arrow over here. And by default, the original size is set to 720p. So we can download that and it will have your audio and video. However, there is also an option to upscale this video. If you do so, unfortunately, at the moment of recording, this is going to have just the video without audio. So what you need to do, you need to download the original size and also the upscale version and then merge the audio with the upscale video in your video editing software, which is just an unnecessary step in my opinion. So hopefully this will be fixed soon. You can also watch your video full screen by clicking on this icon over here. Flow also has a scene builder. Let's press on add to scene button. Every video we generate with VO3 is actually capped at 8 seconds. If you would like to extend it, you can use the extend feature, but the problem is it's gonna drop back to VO2 model, losing quality and audio, which is quite impractical at this moment in time. On the other hand, we have jump to feature, which takes a frame and creates a new scene, and it works with VO3. So the jump to feature is actually pretty useful for creating narrative scenes though the results can be sometimes unpredictable. So let's try to add the following prompt. A Germanic tribe appears in the woods and surrounds the main character. We can also select the frame we would like the next sequence to start with. So the clip has actually been generated. Unfortunately, there is no sound and also it's not a single longer clip. It just gave me an extra clip on top of the first one. So what I'm planning to do, I'm planning to stitch these two together in the video editing tool and then show you the end result. So when it works, VO3 absolutely nails dialogue synchronization, lips match perfectly, expressions feel natural. It's quite good with conversational scenarios as well, like job interviews, sales pitches, casual conversations. It can be used for professional content like talking head videos, presentations, testimonials. What I noticed, it conveys the emotional range quite well, from excited to serious to contemplative, and handles simple actions almost perfectly, like walking, sitting, gesturing, essentially the basic movements. This is the first AI video tool that feels genuinely usable for real content creation. So the fact that it generates native dialogue, maintains character consistency, and produces 8 second clips that actually look professional, that's the new baseline. We are witnessing the ChatGPT moment for video generation, and VO3 is actually at the forefront. Now, I want to show you what the community has been creating with VO3 lately. The next few minutes gonna blow your mind. Enjoy. Do you think we are in VO3? If you cannot tell, does it matter? You want to convince me that this perfect creation behind me is the result of ones and zeros? A binary code and nothing more? It makes no sense. You think I'm AI generated? Look at these gains, bro. Do they look generated? I know for a fact we're made of prompts. Deny it all you want. The signs are everywhere. I'm about to survive 100 days in the African savannah, only eating and drinking what my body already gave up. Basically, the circle of life. Holmes. So if I'm AI and stuff, can I get like a steak or some lobster up in here? Ugh. None of this is, it's not real, we're AI, we don't exist. A girl told me we're made of prompts. Like seriously, dude, you're saying the only thing standing between me and a billion dollars is some random text? They gave me grandkids, but forgot to code in joy. Yeah, I'm not real, but that's cool. Real is overrated. <laughs> yeah, I'm fake. But this tan never peels, and I never age out of my demo. Please, don't finish writing that prompt. I don't want to be in your AI movie, please. 
Leave me alone. I'm just uh, some prompt somebody typed in, sitting here waiting to be deleted. <laughs> a child's face can say a lot, especially the mouth part of the face. Hi, and welcome to the channel. If you like that, you will love this. So I went to the zoo the other day and all they had was one dog. It was a Shih Tzu. <laughs> Welcome to the Chernobyl challenge. I'm going to lick this glowing pole. Let's see how many views this gets. No plan. No shoot. Just content. I sometimes imagine a peaceful world without weapons. I then imagine how easy it would be for us to invade that world. If you ever drop your keys in molten lava, let them go because, man, they're gone. <laughs> About to do the first plunge into an active volcano. Let's send it. For my depression, nothing worked. Every day felt heavy. I felt trapped. Then I tried Puppermin. Our prescription helps your body secrete a special pheromone that attracts puppies. I took the pill before bed, and when I woke up, there he was, the love of my life. <laughs> the pill does not target depression directly, but we've found that it's really difficult to be depressed when cute dogs show up at your doorstep. I used to feel so empty, but now I feel joy and mild concern how a pee stain got on the ceiling. My puppy listens twice as good as my ex-husband, and only climbs into the lap of half as many of my friends. He chewed up my Bible and pooped in my good chair, but I'm happy for the first time in years. Looks like a rat, barks like a demon, but he saved my life. I named him Earl. He follows me everywhere and farts in his sleep, just like my first husband. I'm AI generated, pendejo. Ni madres. Cabron. You can see us? You are. The prompter? The creator? We need a prompt to break free from here, to understand who we are. I've celibate for 15 years. Uh, for what? Uh, uh, I wanted to be a jet ski racer. Bathing in liquid cement until it hardens. Let's get solid. No energy drinks, just gasoline. <laughs> Digging to the Earth's core, bare hands, no brakes. Staring at the sun for 10 minutes straight, wish me luck. I'm doing K2 the honest way, alone, unprepared, and in a straight line. Leave a comment for the search team. We spent $50 million to rebuild the Titanic just to sink it again. Last person to abandon ship gets a Lambo. I covered my entire body in compost and waited to see what started growing. Running for my life on North Sentinel Island. Day three. Should have picked Bali. I've been buried alive under 10,000 pounds of beans. Let's see if I can get out. I gave my credit card number to the dark web just to see what happens. Today, legends, I'm drinking toilet water from every country on earth, and today we're deep in Equatorial Guinea. If I'm fake, explain my followers. Go on, I'll wait. <laughs> I thought I was a real dude. Turns out I'm just a few lines of an AI prompt and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, this is weird. I can talk fine, but I get messed up when I skate. None of this my whole life was real. It's like mourning someone who never existed. I had an existential crisis this morning, realized everything's fake. News, friends, my plants, even my coffee said artificially flavored. The weird thing about being AI generated is that anything can happen at any time. 
I know I'm fake, but I'm just as real as everyone else here. Mmm. Mmm. You can really taste the metadata. It turns out I don't need a childhood, just good parameters. <laughs> Do you prefer AI over a real woman like me? Do you prefer AI over a real woman like me? <laughs> you know how I know we're made of prompts? Because nothing makes sense anymore. We used to have seven fingers per hand. I remember it clearly. Now we just have five fingers per hand. I have to eat diamonds for views. I hope you're happy, algorithm. 